Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. We're going out to New York City. Uh, and Figgy Figurata, a uh, high-ranking capo in the Genovese crime family, has been booted out or stepped down from the Carpenters Union. Um, he has been the Genovese crime family's point man uh, in the construction rackets and in the, the Carpenters Union uh, down in Manhattan uh, for quite a while. Um, got his union card, I believe, in 1990. Uh, and according to a report that came out in the last couple of days, shout out to The Messenger, which is a really, really on its game new media outlet that's that's doing some great reporting. Uh, back in July, uh, Tommy Figs, a.k.a. Figgy Ficarada, uh resigned his post in the Carpenters Union to avoid a... Uh, hearing and inquiry into his mob connections. And we know that both from previous you know, FBI documents, as well as documents related to the early parts of the inquiry that will never finish, because instead of going in front of a disciplinary board and explaining himself, Figgy uh, uh, stepped down and just uh, uh, to avoid the issue altogether. And according to these documents, he was personally placed into this point position in the in the Carpenters Union by the top guys in the Genovese, meaning Barney Belomo, Ernie uh, Muscarella, uh, put him in place. Uh, I'm told that Ernie, the reputed underboss under Barney, who we just saw a picture of, uh, proposed to Tommy Figgs for his button. Um, Tommy Figgs' dad, Tony Figgs, was a longtime member of the Genovese crime family, um, someone that might have been made with Barney, uh, in a, in a fall 1977 ceremony. So, you know, this is, you know, Figgy is a guy that is, is very trusted. There's rumors that he, or speculation that he could be in line for an administrative post in the future. He's about 65 years old, but he's no longer going to be in the Carpenters Union. Um, New York City's District Council of Carpenters, uh, after a 30, 33 years in the union, Figgy Ficarada is out, has stepped down. Uh, he was served with with uh, notice of inquiry back in May. And in July, he sent a letter um, and, and resigned. Uh, I think it's it's interesting to, to point out, you know, where this guy's juice came from, because according to uh, investigators within the Carpenters Union, this guy was, again, personally tapped by Barney Belomo, the most powerful mafia don in New York City, the boss of bosses today, and um, is close with Ernie Muscarella, was close to uh, Jimmy Macera, allegedly took over Jimmy's crew, Jimmy Jimmy from A Street, who, who passed away uh, in late 2023 down in Florida. I was also close to a, a Bonanno capo, Joe Lefty, uh, well, Lacano, Lac, Lacano. Um, and, uh, you know, this is a guy that everybody should, should know, uh, going forward into the, you know, the rest of the 2020s and, and beyond as a, uh, a major future shot caller and, you know, current shot caller in the Genovese crime family. Uh, but he will no longer be doing it, uh, in the Carpenters Union. Uh, his, his, his crew uh, that he took over, I'm told from Jimmy Macera is, uh, Manhattan it's Brooklyn, it's Bronx, uh, out in Florida a little bit, a little bit in New Jersey. So uh, Tommy Figs no longer in the union. Barney Belomo has to go find a new guy to run point for the Genovese crime family in the construction rackets in Manhattan. For OG Pod, I'm Scott Bernstein, out. Mm -hmm.